How's it going everyone? Bear here from SteelSeries. And if you're having issues with your device not being detected with an engine, I wanna show you some of the troubleshooting steps that we offer to help get that working again. Now, before getting started, make sure to back up your configurations or your macros that you may have. Some of these steps are gonna require you to reset your drivers as well as GG. So we wanna make sure that they're backed up. This way you have an easier time reapplying them later on. So to start off, let's go ahead and uninstall your GG app from your PC. This way we can reinstall it to make sure there was no errors during your previous download. Head over to the search bar on your PC and type in add or remove programs. Go ahead and select that. And then once you have that open, scroll down to the SteelSeries GG app and select uninstall. Once that's finished up, head over to our website, steelseries.com forward slash GG to re-download the app. Now while that's downloading, let's go ahead and switch the port that you're using on your PC. Now if you're using a USB hub, you wanna plug the device directly into your PC. Now if you're using a port on the front of your PC, try using one on the back. Or if you're using a 2.0 USB port, try using a 3.0 or vice versa. Now majority of the time, these steps are gonna fix the issue for you. But if you're still not seeing your device once you've switched your USB ports and re-downloaded GG, then we can go ahead and try and uninstall and reinstall your device drivers. Now in order for this to work, you're gonna to need to make sure that your GG app is fully up to date. If you just reinstalled like we did in the first step, then you should be all set. But if you did skip that part, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're fully up to date. So go ahead and open up your GG app. Then select the settings button at the bottom right and scroll down to about. You'll need to click check for updates and if there's an update needed, you'll have a button right next to it to download the latest version. Now with GG fully up to date, go back to the search tab in Windows and search device manager. Once you have that open up, go to human interface devices and find your device. Right click it and select properties, then click the drivers tab at the top of the toolbar. Then select uninstall drivers and the second window will pop up. Make sure to check mark this box to delete driver software and then press uninstall. Now, if there's multiple entries related to this device, you're gonna to need to repeat the process for each one separately. Once this is done, go ahead and unplug and then replug your device back into your PC. Open up the engine tab and check for your device. So the final troubleshooting step that I can help you out with is gonna be if you're running a VPN on your PC. This could be what's causing the issues. So what you'll need to do is uninstall the VPN and GG from your PC. Then go ahead and reinstall GG. And once it's installed, check to see if your device is showing up in engine. If it is, then go ahead and reinstall your VPN, activate it, and then double check one more time to make sure your device is still appearing as normal. Now, if the device disappears once you reactivate your VPN, you'll need to disable it anytime you wanna make any changes within engine. Unfortunately, some VPNs may cause this issue when you download other apps, and there's currently no workaround for it. Now, say your device never showed up with any of the troubleshooting steps that we just went over. Your next option is gonna to be to reach out to us directly by creating a ticket on our website. An agent will be able to help you out with the next steps that you'll need to do. Just make sure to let them know you followed the steps on this video ahead of time. This way they're not providing you with the same information.